It's finally time to open up the Chamber of Secrets and answer our most frequent question. Is Stevenson Farms haunted? I can see why people think the place might be haunted. There's been seven generations of my family here, and uh, you know, people have passed away here, people have been married here, people have probably been born here. There's Everywhere you look, there's artifacts that have been handled, there's been memories created. There's, you can always feel a buzz in the place, just at an energy point of view. I don't know if it's haunted, but you just, you know, you feel like you're part of the history here. And what a history Stevenson Farms has had over the last 180 years. Once a beautiful summer estate home in the 1920s, it gradually faded into near oblivion. When we moved into the house in 1997, it almost looked like a real haunted house, rotting, rusting, and forgotten. The many rooms that were once bustling with life, now were only visited by the occasional reluctant visitor. Times have changed, but the questions remain the same. We've had a lot of guests come here saying that the place might be haunted or they felt some sort of ghost-like presence. Um, in fact, some family members have also said the same things. I interviewed my grandmother 20 years ago just to kind of get some family history stories, and she told me about her experiences. Yeah, the house speaks to you. Not in this room, but in the den there. Did, you? did to my dad too. You hear voices. No, but you have to be able to catch it. You'll maybe be wondering how to do something, or if you should do it, you'll say either yes or no. No, it's built into the walls. <laughs> Grandma Milne now has a place of honor on the wall where she joins the rest of her ancestors who have gone before her. Like in this picture, where I am the baby seen in my great-grandfather's arms, I always feel like I'm in the company of good spirits, but I can understand that can feel strange for others. You know, the pictures of your great-great-great-grandparents aren't uh, the most welcoming yeah. faces. We really should take those down. It's kind of intimidating walking. He's like, hmm, <laughs> who are you and what are you doing in this house? But they're the Stevensons. They got to stay up there at Stevenson. Yeah. Stevenson. Apparently they were cool and they liked to party and have fun. I mean, in like an old fashioned way. Might as well have a sense of humor about living in a creepy old house. Whether it's making movie magic or just goofing around, it's always a great backdrop. We like to have some fun with that. We've uh, we've freaked out a few of our, our our employees by dressing like ghosts or putting blankets over our head. Today we have my in-laws visiting, and I want to play a little joke. And then we have these little Halloween pictures, and that if you turn them a certain way, you can see like a zombie face. So I brought my mother-in-law out to have a look at it. <laughs> I don't think she was too happy or impressed with me. People. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I don't play jokes on my father-in-law. He's pretty good with a knife. As much as we joke around, we know some people take ghosts very seriously. So we're always happy to share and hear stories. Michelle is our part-time employee, and she's convinced we have a ghost problem. We don't have a ghost problem. It's just like my dead family members, that's all. It has always felt like somebody has been here with me, um, doing cleaning and whatnot. I, I, some of the eyes seem to follow you a little bit, but that's probably just in my head. Because this was my grandma's favorite room. She always would sit here. So if this was her room, maybe that's what I'm feeling. It's just her presence, her warmth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually presence in this one so much as this room. This is my grandpa's room. Stephen Mellon of the same name. So the rooms that you're getting some vibes on. This is one of them. Yeah. I'd be in the bathroom and you just really hear noise and you look out and nothing's there. And I don't know if it's like a residual presence that I feel, or if it's actually something intelligent, uh, but it's been something in this room for sure. I'm quite a skeptic myself. I just think a lot of things are explainable. I haven't had any experiences personally, but I'll still run out of a room if I turn off the lights like, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> it's very true, yeah. This is my favorite room. A friend of mine once asked me to take a picture while I was in this room in particular. I sent the picture and uh, they said, there's a person behind you. And uh, I kind of, <laughs> okay, where? But you couldn't and see it though. I couldn't see it. And my friend said, I'm getting the name Liz 
The name Elizabeth or Elspeth runs strong in the family. The name was carried by at least three of my grandmothers who have lived in the house, and it is passed on to my sister Sarah and our daughter Shannon, who has also surprised us a few times. There was the one time when the power went out and we were having a wedding and all the, the wedding party was gathered trying to make light of the situation and for no reason whatsoever, her Shannon, who was like two or three at the time, started sleepwalking, came in the room while we were entertaining the guests and she's like, do you hear them? Do you hear the ghosts? And like you could hear a pin drop and we we're just like, <laughs> That was pretty creepy, actually. That was creepy. She'd been watching a lot of cartoons with a certain dog character that uh, <laughs> chased the ghosts and stuff. <laughs> so even if you do have ghosts, what are you supposed to do? If it's not bothering you or anybody, you can live and let live. I've personally never, ever experienced anything negative here. It's always been very warm and loving. The fact of the matter is, is we've been here for 15 years now and we haven't been scared out by any ghosts. So I, I think if there is a ghost problem, they're only good ones, right? I hope so. Yeah. History and memories continue to be made at Stevenson Farms. And although we can't prove for sure if there are ghosts, we have seen a few Elvises. Most importantly, the halls of Stevenson Farms are once again filled with life and love like they were for our ancestors. And the memory of them should be revered by us with affection and honor. And we hope that their worthy descendants in the future will carry on with gratitude and appreciation the work that we are attempting to do.